Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell. All right, let me show you how I designed this on Canva. All right, lovely. So this is the Canva home screen. And so I wanna show you guys how I designed that mug really quick. So you can just go up here to the template, I mean the search bar and just type in mug. They literally have all these templates over here. Um, and so usually what I do is I just scroll through, kind of get some inspiration on what exactly um, I'm trying to do. And so you just wanna keep scrolling. Now for me, I was making a mug for um, one of our secretaries that were that's leaving. And so I knew I needed something with some sparkle. Okay, and so after going through this, I went ahead and just used this cup. Um, and as you can see, they bring the mug on here for you. Over here, it says what the front one is looking like and what the back one is looking like. I love that owl, and so I made sure I knew I was gonna keep that. And so, then I just went ahead and clicked, double click, and then you could put whatever you want. Here, I was just moving fonts and position it in the way that I wanted it. You already know, use your cursor, move things around to your liking, speeding up. You can literally just come up here, you could pick colors over here, or you can also click this color bar and just kind of play with those colors. And at my case, I just wanted it to be a little lighter and so that was perfect. Um, and then this, you can usually duplicate, but they did not have the duplicate Button. and so I just went to my keyboard and pushed CTRL C held that and then CTRL B and it literally doubled it just because I was trying to keep that same um, same wording and so it took lots of sparkle to the end. Um, and then I want to make sure I use this one again. So I go to CTRL again. Let me show you guys. Just in case you're not familiar. Whoops. CTRL C and then CTRL C. Boop, duplicated it. Here I'm just adding a little more wording. I'm positioning, just doing all that good jazz. Make sure you get it to your liking. do want to have more of these so this is the duplicate button that i was telling you about over here it is over here for some reason for the sparkles and so um just kind of probably add that up there and it took lots of sparkle to be a marble and it is secretary now i did not want to make that the same and so what i wanted to do was come over here to text Okay, and then you can go down this list and there is lots of different fonts that you can get. Um, you can also, if you wanted to change this font, you could just click this button up here and get different fonts. Um, but I was okay with that one. You can definitely change the sizing up here, the color, if you want it to be bold, centered, and such may have you. And I really like it this one um and so you just kind of position as you go okay and i did not need the um i do not need the your though let's go back and so I just want to delete that and I just want to work with this and so also to 
just because I have that space still, I wanted to remove that. All right, let's start over. All right, and so then you would just get that all together and then bring it down to size. Um, now, because I am working with different colors, they save the colors of your scheme over here. I want that to be purple. And then you would just kind of play with it as you see fit. I think this looks okay. There we go. Okay, and so that is the front. I like the, this part of it. Um, but I did want to add some more writing. And so I just went ahead and took that first one right there, added that to it. This owl was uh, two part, and so I just moved it up as much as I could, and then move the owl up as much as I can as well, without covering that up. There you go. And wishing you a, all right, I want that to say, we will miss you. All right, so that looks perfect for me. Um, I like both of them okay and so you would just play with it until you get it perfect and then here's where you would go and you would download it um you want to make sure that you stop right here look at it it says pdf suggest but because of if you want to put it in cricut or let's say you want to just do it on a microsoft word you want to save it as an svg okay and so then you would go ahead and push download it would start downloading right there and then it would pop up here, okay? And so then you will go, you will highlight that, push save as, and then you would just make it into a picture. Okay, one more time, just in case. <laughs> right click it, <laughs> right click it, save as, and then you would save it under pictures and then rename it whatever you want it. I would put maybe owl mug you know something like that okay and so then once you're done with that and this is for if you're sublimating if you're doing it for anything else you can definitely you know go to Cricut if you wanted it to be cut out I didn't want that I just wanted to print it and so this is what you would do is you go to a Microsoft Word document which hopefully you already have your settings set up for sublimation if not let me know I'll drop that video down below um but so you would go to insert picture this device. I'm not sure why that's kind of kind of um, blurry. And then you would go to pictures and then you would just simply find your picture. OK, and so I do remember that I saved mine under that. OK, and then go back to picture to get that other one. This device pictures. And then I saved the other one under two. Okay. And so, oh, I don't know why that always happens. I'm sorry. Let me go back. This device. All right. There we go. Okay. And so then you would just size them. Um, on here, you can definitely, I do them until they kind of don't <laughs> want to go to the next line. Because I don't really want that. And so um do they tell me my sizes oh they do okay over here so 3.1 3.15 is what i did because i literally just kept pulling them until um it looked like it was going to go to the next side okay and i will say for mugs it could have actually been a little bit bigger and so you can definitely go up to almost four on a mug um and that is if you have the the um What's that? 15 ounce 15 ounce and this is the mug brand just so you know and i'll link that down below so you want to get the cricut um ceramic mug blank white okay so these are specifically used for um sublimating one okay they were created to kind of use um their invisible ink but i have not and i will definitely do a video on that actually but i have not um done the invisible ink, ink i just find it pretty cool to do with my sublimation and i love the 15 ounce because they come in a box and you could definitely you know put your brand on this do whatever you wanted to do on here and then 
Oh, no. Get the mug out, sublimate on it, and then put it back in here. And it's its own gift box, okay? And so, that was a side note. So, then you would just, once you get it straight, um, put that back. All right. So, that was pretty straight for me. And then you would just then go. You would just go to file, print. And then, you know, if you have whatever printer settings you have, I have, um, like I said, if you need these settings, I will definitely drop them down below where they are literally saved for what I need. So normal design mirrored because um, you do need to mirror on uh, sublimation. People's faces mirror. And then there are some cases where you don't um, need the mirrored. That one's not mirrored. And this is the one that I use for this one because it's just a normal design mirrored. Um, I'm sorry, this one. Normal design mirror where it is just landscaped. It is, it's just, it's high in vibrancy, but it is not like somebody's face, okay? And so then you would just go, okay, those printer settings are saved. And then you would just put your A sub printer in, print, and let's head over to the mug print. Mug right, print. it is printed. Of course, you know that for sublimation, you are supposed to mirror it. So I'm gonna cut these and put them on my mug. You guys mug. already know to turn your, I'm working with my Cricut mug press. You just hit that button and wait for it to turn green. And anything sublimation, you want to use a lint roller. All right, don't forget you need that heat transfer tape to secure your image. Like the so. paper to protect your Cricut press. Go ahead and push this lever down and your machine will start working when you see the light blinking. And so it's gonna be in there for about four minutes, I say. Um, it'll just keep baking that cup so you're free to do your cleanup. Is that baby cute or is that baby cute? We did that, yay!